day 26 of the harvest log and we are still right up on the top of the hill. Uh, this is uh, still on Siskin. Uh, overcast again, uh, sun put in a bit of an appearance first thing this morning and it seems to have disappeared, um, which seems about normal for this time of uh, this harvesting season. Uh, this is orchard block, this field, we're, we're swathing the straw for a neighbour uh, and we've got a few other kind of wildlife areas up in this uh, in this little complex of fields here. We've got quite a lot of woodland, we've got some, uh, some recently thinned and planted woodland there just behind the tractor. Uh, area of game cover here, maize and millet, um, or sorry, maize and sorghum. And uh, then we've got uh, over in the corner that triangle just beyond the telegraph pole, an area of wild bird seed mix. And there's uh, a couple of sunflowers in there. Uh, there's a lot of radish, uh, millet, triticale, there's some kale in there. Um, and those areas will be left uh, unharvested until um, the birds actually use that to help support them through their winter feed of this year. Pretty disappointed that we haven't had that as an option in our current higher tier scheme. Uh, it's a hugely missed opportunity in terms of supporting farmer and birds. Some of the work we're doing with the West Midland Bird Ringing Club um, is indicating that these areas are really, really important to uh, sustain farmland bird species um, right the way through the Hungry Gap period, which is sort of February through to April, May time, really. Um, so we're, we're going to carry on doing that off our own back this year uh, because we do believe that it's the right thing to do. Um, and that helps support the, the wider biodiversity that we have here on the estate. So we're going to try and see if we can get some sponsorship for some of that bird seed. Um, so if anybody is interested in that or their company wants to help get involved in that, then uh, do get in touch. I'm sure we can come up with something. Uh, but this is where we are at the moment. So this is the last field up on the hill. Then we'll move on to uh, Kemington this afternoon. There's a little brown hair just setting off from there. Uh, we've got about another 45 hectares of wheat still to cut now. I've uh, got another 5 hectares to do here, uh, which we'll probably do after the beans. There's a bit of a clear up job from the combining. Um, beans tend to be a bit a bit muckier, a bit weedier. Uh, so leave a field of wheat just to shine up, um, shine up the combine at the end of uh, at the end of that particular crops harvesting sequence. Uh, so yeah. Normally a lovely view up here, but today a bit murky. Fortunately, it's not raining. Moisture's are kind of hovering around the 17% mark. Uh, forecast is for more cloud, uh, so I can't really see that dropping particularly. So we're just pushing on, getting it done. So come back and uh, catch up, see where we get to tomorrow.